Go to bed early, wake up early. Cold pizza for breakfast? Don't mind if I do. I had a way too much to drink last night. That's freaking brutal. I feel like a, ugh, like a bag of smashed assholes today. But that's all right. Kitty's back in her bag. Don't understand that cat. Maybe she's so sore from her face. Fuck. Oh, right now I just really need a coffee to uh, break the hangover. How are we doing for water in the Keurig? Oh, we're low. A restock of the water. A restock of the water. So I just realized that uh, Bruce leaves for vacation in like a week. Like this is his last week of work and then he's gone on vacation. And then he comes back. By the time he comes back, I think I'm gone for good. <laughs> So this is my last week probably working with Bruce. Let's hope we can prank him a couple more times before we go. You know when you're afraid to fart because it could be the most devastating thing you do all day? I just had that moment. He's so cute when he sleeps. But he goes from zero to play like so quick. Look at him. He was sleeping. Now he wants to party, party, puppy. Party, party, puppy. Puppy, party, 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 puppy. It's true. Oh man, I'm feeling, my dog is like so hyper right now. It's funny, he'll go from sleep to get up and party in 0 0.9 seconds. Dog's nuts. Anyway, Oreo's barking his little furry tits off. Probably has to go outside for a potty. Scampers is still fucked in the head. Still sleeping in a shopping bag, I presume. Who's a good girl? Where's a good kitty? <laughs> Why are you sleeping in a shopping bag? Like seriously, what's the matter with you? Now her back of her neck has a hole. Oh, that was brutal, boys. Consistency of stag chili. Ugh, I can never eat that shit again. Anyway, it's almost time to head off to work. I just need a couple more drinks of water, keep myself hydrated, had some multivitamins. Forgot my Tylenol in the garage when Rex was over that one time. Oh well, how oh well. So, I'm gonna head off to work, go see what's going on, and uh, get some more info on my termination date, and go from there. I just wanna check to make sure. Sounds like my furnace is working. Yeah, it's working. I'm heating the house to 67 right now because that's my comfortable zone. Sounds weird. Some people in, in the south are like, 67 degrees? You fucking insane? And I go, yeah. Just put Scamper's antibacterial cream on her wounds. Hope to Christ that works because, fuck man, I'm gonna have to bring her back to the vet. Guess who's not getting the PlayStation 4 anytime soon because they own a cat who insists on inflicting fucking damage to herself. This guy! That's gonna be another $160 fucking vet visit. Ugh. That's one thing I'm getting fixed for sure. But just as I was sitting here, I noticed those clouds are emitting snow. And it was snowing on my car, but there was nothing on impact, so that's a bonus. So yeah, what I'm going to do is, uh, once I get my layoff money, which will probably be in December, I'm taking the car in, getting the recalls done, getting the new back tires put on, and struts in the front. We're going to fix this fucking pig right up. And then uh, I'm going to drive the ball bag off it for a couple more years. I was also chatting with uh, a buddy last night. Might be selling the old white bird. I know a lot of you are like, no, you can't sell it. Well, quit being my ex-girlfriend, because she used to say the same fucking thing, and I can do whatever I want. Like, it was a fun car and all, but it's not a practical car to have. Because, like, it doesn't work in the winter. You can't open the doors in the winter. They seal themselves shut. Like, right now, I could probably get into it. Yeah, now I can get into it. But in the winter, you grab that handle and pull on it, nothing happens because the door seals itself shut. And if you accidentally do that in the winter, the moment we get a warm snap, the door will bust itself open and let all the water in. So, kind of a cock. And it didn't do that when I first got it. Like, I actually was able to open it up and use it and drive it home from the shop in the winter and no problems. But, uh, as days went by, I started having more and more anomalies with her. And it's a shame because it's a fun car to drive, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. And like I've said before, this car only started having tire leaks after I had the tires replaced in the back at the local uh, shop down the road, the garage. And they didn't use bead sealer, they just used soapy water to get the bead, to get the tire on the rim, I guess. And ever since then, both back tires, because this one here does it too, not as fast, but it has a drain. Both back tires have issues holding air, yet the front tires, I never have to pump them up. You always see me pumping up this tire here. It's this one here that's always problematic. It's because the seal shot. I've done the soapy water test. The tire itself isn't leaking, but the rim is. And it's not leaking on this side. It's actually leaking on the inner side. So the, uh, the inside uh, bead isn't holding air. 
which is fucking garbage. My neighbor back there gets mad at me because my tree, this oak tree here, when it drops its leaves, it mostly drops on his property. As you can tell, I have leaves on my lawn, but the majority of them are underneath the tree, and the real majority of them are still in the tree, but there's a lot that aren't in the tree that are in his lawn. I think he wants me to take that tree down. I don't think I'm gonna. I like that tree. That's a freaking awesome tree. Look at it. It's freaking awesome. Just look at it. Freaking awesome tree. Anyway, this thing's done, so let's shut her down, get in the car, and get off to work. Oh, I'm anxious for, for winter in a way, but not in a way, you know? I'm anxious for it because once winter hits, actually once right after Halloween, no more parking on the side of the road like all these people are doing. But at least these people here are parking on the side of the road, unlike the people on my street who park their cars on the side of the road, but they're actually like in the driving lane. They're not taken to the soft shoulder. So that'll be nice. No more doing that. Cause like I gotta leave, when I leave my driveway, I gotta like start cutting before my back tires leave the driveway so that I can make it out without banging into a car parked on the side of the road because they're not even parking like this red car here. This red car is parked perfectly on the side of the road. They're putting like their tire barely on the friggin' soft shoulder and the rest of it's on the road. So basically if I were to drive here, you know, that's where their car sits. And it's not cool because when you're backing out, you might bang into it and fuck if you bang into a parked car, it's your fault. It's like they want me to bang into their cars and get a get an insurance claim so they can get free vehicles. Fucking dicks. But uh, yeah, feeling a little better after that second poop, so that's all right. Probably fire off the third one tonight, get all the contaminants out, be done with it. Okay, this person's backing out. All right. I was gonna say, bud, you can't park a car like that. It's a little bit on the illegal side. Mm. Yeah, I learned my lesson last night. No more mixing alcohol, no more beer with vodka. That's not a good time. You wake up the next day feeling fucking wrecked, and uh, it's not a good feeling. Like, I feel pretty devastated. I woke up at 10.30 this morning with a beer shit. Like, I shit you not. Well, I shit you, because I did shit. But, yeah. Up at 10.30 and I was like, oh, fuck, I need to go out and film a promo for another channel. And so I'm part of this group, the MCW group, the uh, Mayhem Championship Wrestling, where these guys basically take the PlayStation game of WWE. They make characters based on the people that are in the MCW. And then they let the computer do the fighting. And they commentate on it. And I'm a wrestler in there. And apparently I'm supposed to be going up against some guy called Grimm's Toy Box or Grimm's Toy Shop, or I'm gonna have to make sure I get that name right. And we're gonna be fighting for the playlist, or the uh, the play button championship, the YouTube contender title. And I gotta make a fucking promo where I'm just smack talking like a son of a bitch. So that's gonna be fun. I gotta upload that to my channel as unpublished, and then they're gonna grab it and fire it up on their channel, and maybe edit it a bit, or do some adding non-copyright music to it so that they don't get monetization blocked or whatever. I'm not going to put any music on it, but it's going to be, uh, whoa, that was squeaky. It's going to be pretty, uh, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. And I get the smack talk, so that's all right. I'm not really good at smack talking, but we'll figure something out. Maybe I'll watch a couple of wrestling promos and steal shit from that and go from there. I got to do that. I wanted to do that today, but I was like, holy fuck, like I can't even get too far away from the toilet right now. Keep puking out my bum. At least it wasn't out my mouth. Yeah, I'll have to call the vet on Monday and see if I can bring scampers in, and if not, get a friggin' appointment booked. Holy shit. Brakes are still good. Yeah, that van's not gonna let me back up. I got a van behind me. He's fucking like right behind me, too. I have no way to back up. What a fucking arsehole. Oh well. If a cop sees me, I'll be like, dude, at least I stopped. I would back up, but buddy in the pedo van behind me fucking won't let me. It's a Chevy, uh, Chevy Astro van, you know those big fucking things. Nice burnout. That happens a lot with cars nowadays. I swear they have a lock diff in the rear end. Any car that's rear wheel drive, the back end just chirps when they come around that corner. I feel like my nose is out in the traffic. Like we're gonna get hit. You guys probably really feel that. Like watch when this transport goes by how close it feels. Like it feels like, oh shit, it's like right in front of us, eh? It's not. Objects on screen are further than they appear. All right, let's go. So yeah, 
have to see what that letter from the boss says about termination. I think I got some paperwork I gotta fill out about my severance. Because apparently I can get half of it now, then half of it a year from now to help out with income tax. But I'm just gonna take the whole fucking lump sum because, uh, fuck it, you know? Like I said, it's a shame it's happening in December, but it's kind of hope for January. However, this gives me time to be off. You know, like if it happened January 1st, I'd be off all of December anyway. But I think they're doing this just to purposely fuck us over on our taxes. And uh, I'm pretty sure Bell's fucking licking the government's nuts. And that's why it's happening, because uh, both me and my coworker were both gone December 14th. Minus our vacation days. And we both got about four weeks of vacation. Well, we both got the same vacation days as, as four weeks. So, by the time Bruce comes back from vacation, we're going to be gone. It's going to be awesome. So, here's hoping they change the schedule around because if they don't, they're going to have a struggle because five people can't work 16 hours over seven days. It doesn't work. We've tried it. There's like one guy working night shifts. Two guys working day shifts, and one of the guys who works day shifts doesn't do a fucking thing. Like, honestly, it would be Bruce, oh, well, there'd be five people left, so Bruce and the other four. So the only way they could do it is if, like, two people work Monday to Friday, but then they need two people working on the week, they need four people working on the weekend to cover both days and nights. Like, it's, it's unfeasible with the amount of staff they have left, so... If they don't change the schedule and the hours of operations, especially because we got people going on vacation for Christmas, and neither one of those people is me or my coworker who's getting out of there, like it's gonna be a fucking train wreck for those guys, and I'm laughing my tits off thinking about it. Like if they don't get on the schedule and make it a Monday to Friday operation, they're fucked. They are physically and financially a fucked because nobody's gonna be able to work. Holy shit, this is a pretty busy pretty busy street for a Saturday afternoon. Where's everybody going? Can I go too? Instead of going to work, can I go where you guys are going? Buddy? No? Buddy? No? Buddy, can I come too? No? Okay. Holy shit. Thought she was gonna die at the wheel, folks. All right, I get my turn. Alrighty, we made it to work and the trees are all naked. Look at all the nakedness in the trees. They are showing their bare skin. www.treeporn.com. Look at naked trees now. And I'll fucking park like an asshole. Taking up two spots because I don't want anybody to park beside my car and scratch my paint that's rusting off. Because I couldn't do body work because it was fucking raining. Anyway, people, I'm going to end the vlog here. There's uh, going to be some editing to be done. I haven't even touched yesterday's video. So we're going to edit that one and this one here. Get them ready for deploy. And then uh, I might film again at 5. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I do. Just do her. Yeah. Anyway, I'm shutting her down, so thanks for watching. I'm hungover as fuck, and it's going to be a while till I'm back to normal, probably tomorrow. So I shouldn't get into the beers tonight, but I probably will because I'm stupid. But anyway, thanks for watching. A like, favorite, and comment. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.